That's why we're here. We could eat. I fancied eggs and we'd run out, so... Why are you acting as if everything's normal? What would you like me to do, son? Bury my head under a duvet, a sobbing mess, and refuse to come up? We just need to keep going. When uh, is your next appointment? I don't know. Then you need to call the hospital and chase it up. Or we can go there now? It's not how it works. Why not? Can't you just call them up and say that you need to be seen right away? Toby, cool down. Why aren't you doing anything? I am. I am trying to come to terms with the fact that I have cancer. Look, I can't imagine how you must be feeling. And I know what you said, but please reconsider telling Felix. We all just want to support you. If you know what I said, then why are you bringing it up? Sorry. I don't want anyone to know. Not your father and not Mitchell. B but... No, but I don't want Mitchell strong-armed into getting back in touch because I am ill. So as far as anyone else is concerned, I have the all clear. But why, though? Because it's nobody else's business. Because I have enough to try and understand it for myself without having to explain it to everybody else. So you say nothing. Understood? Yeah, of course. But surely we can still research some treatment. I suppose. Can I borrow your laptop? Sure. Um... I'm going to see a supplier. I, I, I thought you were hungry. Dad. Ah. Oh. She always leaves her emails open. What is it? An appointment with oncology today. Why did she lie to us? I said stop! I will not allow you to do this! Mom said she didn't have an appointment. We just want to find out why she didn't tell us. She must have her reasons. Yeah? Well, then she could tell them to us. This is your mother's health, her life, and she will deal with it in her own way and in her own time. Look, I understand you are worried, scared even. So am I. But you will show your mother some respect and leave her be. Do you understand? Hello, you. How are you holding up? You know, I've just been looking for you in the waiting room. I saw that your oncology appointment was coming up. It's one of the best, you know. That's good. Someone waiting with you? No. After yesterday's news, there are a lot of frightened tears, so I thought it best not to worry them any further. The family don't know about the appointment. What is the oncologist going to say? I don't know for certain, but he'll be talking you through the various treatments. What, like an operation? Potentially, but it will most likely include chemo oh. to kill the malignant cells, with the possibility of surgery and radiotherapy in the future. And what about the side effects for the treatment? Worth it to get rid of the cancer. But it's not just going to be a few weeks, is it? It's going to be months and months of hospital visits and invasive treatments and sickness and hair loss. Hey, hey, don't get ahead of yourself. You need to talk to your doctor. Nothing can be worse than what's running through your mind right now, but you need to know the facts, what you're dealing with. You are so strong, Martine. You can do this. Please. Just come inside. Here you are. What are you doing in there? 
Oh, just getting some much-needed space from the family. <laughs> Grace was right. She reckoned you might have jibbed them off so you could uh, celebrate by yourself. Celebrate? You all clear? Oh. How much probably have you had? Uh, probably a bit too much. Speaking of good news, Grace and I have uh, started on some new plans. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're thinking of uh, expanding the business and upgrading to a, a bigger house. That's great. Yeah, because yeah, we're, we're in a decent place, you know? Like, like you are, too. That's why I wanted to apologise. What for? For messing you around. Putting pressure on you. You know, bouncing from you to Grace and back again. I kind of made it easy for you. It wasn't. But the thought of nearly losing you, I mean... It made me realise how badly I treated you over these years. And for that, I am truly sorry. But look at us now. I mean, friends, co-parents, happy, bright futures ahead of us. We've got a lot to be thankful for, haven't we? Yeah. You know why she wants us to talk in there instead of home, right? <laughs> She's banking on the fact that we're not going to make a scene in public. OK, we are all a little bit on edge, but your mother sounded positive. So let us focus on that, hmm? Are you OK? They found out that you have been to the hospital. You left your email open. Why do you just... So? What did the doctor say? We... We talked through possible treatment. The best course of action moving forward. It, it was a lot to take in. We're looking at... Uh, six months of chemotherapy, possible radiotherapy, and more than likely, a mastectomy. They'd, uh, they'd like to, to, to start chemo straight away. Right. Well, this is good then, isn't it? I mean, that means that we can get going straight away and... I said that's what they want. It's not what I want. I could go through all of those options and the cancer could still come back. But, but you have no idea that it will. And you have no idea that it won't. That's why I have decided that I am not having treatment. What? What did you just say? I am not putting you through this gruelling ordeal. I don't want that for you and I don't want that for myself. I have made up my mind. It's the best decision for all of us.